Catalysis has been a strength of Northwestern for almost a century now. It is a destination for catalysis research in the United States. Broadly what we're trying to do is take advantage of renewable electricity, renewable electrons, and putting them to work. So the type of work we do with them is driving electrocatalytic reactions so that we can make fuels and chemicals. So you could actually take CO2 that's been emitted into the atmosphere from other processes and reuse that into making useful fuels and chemicals. The real world impact of these applications, I would hope would be self-evident, which is really about the energy problem that we have. How do we generate electrical power without having carbon emissions? The applications for our materials are very much in the space of electrochemical energy conversion. So that means taking steam, using electrical energy to break apart the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. This is part of the reason why the Catalysis Center is a core part of the Institute for Sustainability and Energy at Northwestern, or ISIN. Because catalysis is all about running processes with lower energy inputs, less byproducts, so less waste, or less raw materials. One of the applications dear to my heart is really the ability to capture and deactivate super toxic chemicals such as nerve agents, mustard gas, and it doesn't stop there. I had a really good network of people through the Catalysis Center. It crossed over into chemistry, chemical engineering, surface science groups, mechanical engineers. When I started, one of the things that I was most impressed with was the breadth of shared facilities that Northwestern has, both analytical facilities, but also facilities specific to catalysis, like the REACT facility. Thermal catalysis, molecular catalysis, photocatalysis, electrocatalysis and combinations thereof. That's really the strength, is seeing how this fundamental work in catalysis actually interfaces with these global grand challenges. And I think students are really feel empowered to make changes. It's second to none when it comes to that kind of work. We also have a very strong relationship with Argonne National Lab. And so it becomes a place where our students can go do experiments and then can learn through the facilities managers, what else is going on and where else they could collaborate, who else might be doing research in a similar area. I think the students here are fantastic. I think they're really thirsty for approaching and attacking these issues in sustainability with whatever flavor of catalysis they want, and we have almost all of it here. Our students wind up taking positions in all flavors of industry, biotech, chemical industry, consulting, complex systems, I have friends that have gone into politics and research think tanks, as well as national laboratories. One of my first tasks at my current job at Tradewater, I needed to design a system to measure methane emissions from abandoned oil and gas wells. My job is really problem solving, and that is actually what Catalysis taught me. I've had the opportunity to work on renewable chemicals, on carbon capture, on energy storage thinking about biofuels, thinking about some of the processes and things that they do and study at Northwestern to create fuels that are gonna help the environment and help lower our CO2 emissions. I'm going out in the field and I'm looking at this problem head on and it just feels so good to be able to say that I made a personal contribution to a problem so big as one that affects the whole world. You never know when that breakthrough is going to happen, when the student is going to knock on your door and say, yes, it worked. And those are the moments which are great.